Hey, welcome to the Backwoods Gourmet. Today we're cooking wild game in the Dutch oven, so y'all stay tuned. <laughs> to do catch clean and cook but you know the way YouTube's gotten lately uh, it would just be instantly demonetized I couldn't make a dime on it but there's plenty of videos out there if you want to see how to skin rabbit shoot a rabbit there's millions of them here in YouTube here we're going to show you the most important part because if you don't know how to do this there's no sense in killing it or skinning it so this recipe is a uh, kind of fancy for rabbit you know for a nice cottontail what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to brown the rabbit we're going to braise it with a little marsala wine uh some onions maybe a little garlic we're going to make a nice sauce to go with it and then we're going to do some uh roasted winter root vegetables uh like you know parsnips carrots those kinds of things we're going to do it all in a dutch oven it's going to be great okay for our side for the rabbit we're going to go a classic uh winter root vegetables, parsnips, fresh carrots, uh, potatoes. This is a peeled turnip, uh, half a large onion, uh, some nice big cloves of garlic, and we got a few uh, button mushrooms. So let's get that all uh, ready to go in the Dutch oven. Right, so we've got nine or 10 on the bottom. Go on the nice ring. This time we can actually give a Maybe one extra one. It's pretty cold out here today. Maybe two. You know, the thing about outdoor cooking, some people ask me why I'm always talking about the weather. Well, the weather makes a big difference when you're out here in it trying to cook and not in the house where it's constant temperature. Same thing with the humidity and everything else. It's going to burn a lot differently when you're using natural fuels like this. Um, when the weather's cold or rainy or whatever. So that's why we usually mention what the weather is so you can kind of learn how to adjust. All right, so our pot's coming up to heat. We're gonna give it a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And then we're gonna go ahead and put in the thing that's gonna take the longest and that's gonna be our potatoes. So we'll go ahead and we did toss these on a little olive oil too, so that to make sure that they get olive oil on all sides. What we're looking to do is brown these uh, veg just a little bit before we put on the lid and start the roasting process. So as those are uh, starting to get a little color on them, we're going to go ahead and put in the rest of our root veg. Uh, the carrots, the parsnips, and the turnips. Uh, we might give them another just a tiny shot of olive oil. Stir them around a little bit. So we get coated with some olive oil first. And then we'll season them. Here I'm going in with just a little bit of Everglade. Uh, one third less salt. You notice we did not put in the garlic or the onions yet. Kind of holding off on those to get a little color on these. Uh, uh, at least get them, at least get them warming up. It's been a few minutes. Let's go ahead and uh, let's try to break these up a little bit. Onions as we're putting them in there. Kind of want them to be the individual uh, kind of pieces. Don't have to be perfect. Then go garlic cloves. Stir them in a little bit. Be ready to put the top on here in just a minute. guys what we did since we need our 12 inch over here for our rabbit 
we've transferred the veggies. We needed a space, you know, to keep them spread out to get a little color on them. So we're just taking them over. Now we got this nice fond over here in a 12 inch to raise up when we put our rabbit. So we're gonna go ahead and put the 10 inch. I wish I had two 12 inches. Uh, I wouldn't have to be doing this. So anyway, they're fine. They're going back into 10 inch. Let me go ahead and set that up uh, like we normally would, just a ring of coals all the way around the outside. I'm gonna use the ones we had over here. We got some more going. So those are not gonna take very long. Um, maybe about 15 minutes, just till our veggies are tender. We don't wanna cook them all the way to mush. So we'll get a few more out of the chimney and then uh, we'll get the other Dutch oven back ready uh, to do our rabbit. So to our rabbit, I'm just going to add a little drizzle of olive oil. You could use bacon grease, that would be awesome. I'm gonna kind of toss them around, get them all coated. A little coating of seasoning on them. All right, and then we'll uh, season them up real good. This time we're gonna use Seminole Swamp seasoning. And we'll season them real good and get ready for Dutch oven. Okay, Dutch oven's nice and hot. I'm gonna go ahead, start putting our pieces in there and we're just gonna brown them. About the same step you would do with any other kind of a braise. You got olive oil inside there. So our uh, rabbit is nice and brown. We have our onions in there. They're starting to brown. So what you want to do now is go ahead with a little Marsala wine. And we're going to use that just to deglaze the pan. And you know, you just want to put enough up in there right now that it comes up to a nice bubble. And man, you're going to smell that aroma from that super rich Marsala wine. And whatever you do, do not get that Marsala or any kind of cooking wine at the grocery store in a ketchup aisle, okay? That is, is garbage. Go to the wine department, whatever kind of wine it is. Whether it's Marsala, red, white, get a medium price, you know, wine that you would actually want to drink. That stuff in the ketchup aisle, it's not fit for human consumption as far as I'm concerned. So, we put about a quarter cup of Marsala and we're going to go with about a third of a cup of water. I'm going to go ahead 
I'll spread them out a little bit better. Okay, get them all nice and evenly spread out into the bottom so that they're all down in contact with that wine and liquid. All right, then we're gonna put the lid on. Get some coals ready right now. So if you're trying to keep something warm in a Dutch oven, first keep the lid on. Just put two coals on top. Be great. Just one little tip on eating uh, any kind of wild game. If you let that meat age in the refrigerator for at least a week uh, for small animals like rabbits we're doing here today, squirrels, um, it's going to be way better. Way, way better. So let's go in and give it a check. It's been about an hour. All right. Well, what we're checking for now is tenderness. Oh, and you can see that's already coming apart right there. So that's ready. So what we're going to do now is go ahead and take our pieces out. Going to use some, uh, some tongs here. Go ahead and pull all these guys out of here. Now stick them over here to the side, and then we'll make our sauce for what we call here in the south gravy. Okay, sauce gravy. It's the same thing. So we got our pieces out, so what we need now is bottom heat to make this gravy. So I'm going to set the Dutch oven off to the side there. What we'll do is we'll just, uh, we'll shake our lid coals out. We'll shake them off so we got some more bottom heat there. A couple get away, so we'll have to get those back. Alrighty, well that's up to a, uh, just barely a boil. Our coals are getting worn down a bit. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little cornstarch in there. Find my, my wooden device here. We just want to try to thicken this up a little bit. I'm not going to, you know, flour southern type gravy on this. It's gonna be more like a clear sauce. I had about a tablespoon and a half of cornstarch. So if you can see that, that's sticking up quite nicely. Gonna let it just reduce just a little bit. And it's got little pieces of the meat in it. It's got some of the onions that we put in there in it. So all we gotta do now really is just test it for seasoning. Go in with the back of the spoon like this, try to... That's perfect, don't touch it. But test yours and make it. It's time to make our uh, famous backwards gourmet plate. You know, uh, just because you're cooking backwards don't mean you can't uh, make beautiful food. This time, I'm going to take one of my chef's advice and I'm going to put my gravy right in the bottom of the plate, just like that. And we're going to kind of run it around to the edges. It's done a lot in professional restaurants. Don't worry, if you want more gravy, we'll get that for you. Alrighty. Now, put the lid back on that so it stays nice and warm. Come, come over and get a little 10 inch over here. We just threw that back on the fire for just a second. And uh, so we're going to start coming in and getting, you know, some of our beautiful veg that uh, cooked in the Dutch oven there. Potatoes. Gonna get a little, you know, just a little bit of everything. There's a turnip. So you got a mushroom there. Got 
another potato, another mushroom, maybe another carrot. All right. Man, and I'll tell you what, that really smells awesome. I got my two Dutch ovens in the way of each other. Now for the star of the show. We've had him over here just for a few minutes. We did not want this to cool down. To wrap them full, put a towel over it. We're gonna come right in here. One of our beautiful rabbit legs. Okay. Lay that guy right up on top, just like that. So you know you guys, I can't let you go away without a little more gravy, right? So, just a drizzle. Right over top like that. Now for garnish, something pretty simple. This is a savory winter vegetable dish little chopped scallions just like that there you go that is a braised marsala rabbit with um, roasted winter vegetables Thanks for watching the Backwoods Gourmet. If you'd like to check out some great outdoor cooking gear, including a lot of cast iron, like the ones hanging on the wall behind me, please check out our Amazon store. That's right there in the first comment. Hey, if you like what we're doing, hit that like button right down there also. To subscribe to our channel, click right here. To see our last video, it's right up there. And for a whole playlist of cast iron and Dutch oven cooking, right up there. We'll see you next time.